Hey everybody and welcome to the 27th episode of the Hilltop Sports Report. It's our first episode of the 2024-2025 Athletics Campaign. My name is Jumpin' Jack Carlson, your host. I'm joined by the head women's soccer coach here on the Hilltop, Sarah Campbell, fresh off an 11 to nothing victory in her first game as a head coach here at the collegiate level. So Sarah is a very special guest on this episode. Without further ado, let's hit the music and start the show. So first of all, thank you so much, Sarah, for taking the time today. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is exciting. So starting things off with that 11-0 victory this past Saturday, the Rams were firing on all cylinders offensively, really sets the tone nicely for the weekends, matches, and then the season at large. So what did you see from the team this past Saturday? Yeah, I think we played like a team, you know. Everyone, we had quite a few people score. I think we had six, five to six goal scorers, which is exciting. But yeah, I think it brings a lot of belief in each other and ourselves and makes the season off to a really exciting start, building the positive energy. Um, so yeah, I also thought that we weren't too greedy, you know, trying to get more goals, but we just played soccer. So we possessed what we needed to. We saw a lot of just good soccer playing in our formation and yeah, getting the ball rolling. Absolutely. And part of that scoring attack was led by junior Gwen Westerville. She had four goals, a hat trick in the very first half. Very nice to see her take that next step forward, especially in this first game of the season. What did you see from her on Saturday? Yeah, Gwen's awesome. You know, from the start, she's been great. She's a great leader, and I think it's been awesome to see her put those goals in. You know, there's a lot of pressure um, when you get into the box and putting the ball in the back of the net, but Gwen's just awesome. She's really cool, super smooth, so it was nice for her to get what she deserves. Absolutely. And then going from a junior upperclassman now down to a freshman, Eva Plath, four goals. Nice to see her acting aggressively out there on the soccer pitch and really establishing herself as a main player for these Rams. Yeah. Even I've had like some conversations like, you know, she's a freshman, but she's going to have a big role on this team. She's going to be a big leader. And she really showed out on Saturday. So I'm really excited to see what her freshman year has in store for her as well as the next years to come here at Cornell. Absolutely. And so Eva is just one of 12 newcomers on this Rams roster. So there were nine players that stuck around from 2023 and then 12 newcomers here for 2024. What has that group meant to this team approaching with so much new life and attacking things with that youthful energy? What have you seen from them in preseason and then now going into their first season? Yeah, obviously we have a big freshman class, but they've just fit in so well. I, you know, a part of our soccer team, we don't really have seniority, right? Like they're all just one, no matter what age, what grade you're in. So they've really kind of just fit in really nice. They have a lot of personality, you know, all over the place, but they're really, really fun. And I think they've brought our upperclassmen kind of out of their shell as well. Um, so yeah, this freshman group is awesome. I love having them and they're a big, big part of the team. Absolutely. And now pushing it ahead to the weekend, the Rams have a couple of matches in Nebraska against some quality competition. What lessons did you learn from Saturday that you can carry forward into this weekend? I think just staying composed. Um, staying calm, we know what we're doing, and having faith and belief in what we are doing. So yeah, I think this weekend's going to be a really good test for us. Um, it's going to show us a lot of what we are capable of doing, and then also, you know, the things that we need to work on, which I think is super nice. But we have an overnight, you know, and those are just, I remember being, when I was a college player, those overnights were so much fun, and it's just a really good team bonding. So just bringing that energy too, like this is a fun experience, you're going to make lifelong memories with this, and just having fun and living in the moment. Absolutely, and for these Rams here in 2024, there are three captains on the team. Kristen Camarath, a junior from Blaine, Washington, then seniors Emma Rowe and Elisa Faye Moreno. What has that trio of captains brought to the team? What have you seen from them taking that next step forward in leadership especially? Yeah, they all lead by example. I think it's really nice for the team also to go to those captains as well. It's another resource. If they have any questions or if they need any advice, they kind of know what I'm like as a coach, you know, so they can rely um, on them as well, but they've been huge. It's been great to, you know, building our foundation and our base this year. So it's been nice to have that leadership available and for them to, yeah, portray. Absolutely. And so for the Rams here in 2024, it's their first season with you at the helm. And one thing that you talked about with us here in April was your philosophy of love tough. Everybody talks about tough love and everybody knows that, but I'm wondering if you could tell our podcast audience, what do you mean by love tough? 
Yeah, so I'm going to love my individual players. I want to get to know who they are, embrace their uniquenesses with them. I think it's awesome to be yourself and just be you, you know? Um, so I'm going to love that individual. I want to know their hobbies, their support system, who they have surrounding them, and then I can be tough. And I think that toughness looks different based on the individual, and that's why I love first, to know what toughness they succeed best with. You know, some of us can handle constructive criticism, and some of, some of us just need love and support. So it's nice to get to know my individual athletes first and then understand what my toughness looks like for each uh, player. And this might be a very tough question for you to answer, but in your first couple of months here, with this new team in 2024, what have been some of the surprising things that you've learned about the team, but not only that, about coaching in general that perhaps you didn't know when you're talking with me here in April? I would say the most surprising thing is, I guess, I don't know. I think I've loved every moment of it. I think the biggest thing that I'm trying to focus on is just staying present. Um, being present in the moment, not worrying about what we have next week, you know, so like even today, like not focusing on this weekend so much, like just focusing on the day and the practice that we have ahead. Um, so I think the biggest part is just staying present and living in the moment. Um, everything else will fall and I can worry about it later. So I think that's been the biggest thing too. Um, the team's been great. Like I couldn't imagine a better team to start off my college career with as a coach. And yeah, I'm excited to have them and keep rolling the ball in the next couple of years to come. Absolutely. And here on the Hilltop, the Rams have phenomenal facilities. As you can see, we're recording inside the Small Athletic and Wellness Center. How important are the facilities for you as a coach going out and trying to bring new players into this program? Yeah, I mean, our stadium out there is awesome. We have a grass field, which is, you know, I think it's a big advantage. Some people don't really love it, but I love it. Um, it's, I think it's a huge advantage point for us. Um, we also have practice field as well. So yeah, the facilities here are great, especially with this, uh, the saw, getting in, getting in the weight room in season, even out of season. So yeah, like we provide really good resources for our athletes to have um, success. Sure, and so starting things off here, as a player for you, five seasons at the collegiate level at Wartburg, very recent time playing in college. So what have you seen in terms of your playing time in college reflected now in your coaching style? That's a very complicated way of asking this question. But what I'm trying to say is, as a player, what things can you now sympathize with some of your athletes now as you coach them? Um, I remember, you know, being a freshman and starting. That's a lot of nerves very nerve-wracking and then you know also having a target on your back so I played for a very good team when I was in college and there was a lot of pressure all the time so I think I can really um, empathize with my players when they're feeling worked up or anxious and nervous and just calming them down like everything's gonna be okay um, you're gonna make mistakes I made so many mistakes when I was in college and I think just learning from them is the most important thing um, not getting so worked up you know so it's been great. I think I'm really reliable and personable with my athletes since I was just in it. Um, I kind of know what's going on, know the feel for it as well. So it's really nice to just empathize with them and understand what they're going through. That's a great philosophy. And you just mentioned the youthfulness in the starting lineup. The Rams started four first years on Saturday against Mount Mary. How important was that experience for those players in particular? Yeah, I think it's really great to get a uh, game underneath their belt, especially that one being a first win too. Um, it breaks the nerves for all the other games, but it's great. It's great to get out there. Great to you know start some freshmen, get them experienced. I think the nice part as freshmen is you just don't. You, sometimes you just don't know. You know you don't know what's going on. You don't know some of the players. So it's nice to just be youthful and just go out there and just play your game. For sure. And now going into the goalkeeping position, you started Sydney Newberg on Saturday. What did you see from her in preseason now going into the season? And what are you hoping for her to do as the season progresses? Yeah, Sydney, you know, she's a hard worker. She puts her head down and works every single day. Um, so I think she's great. She's positive. She doesn't get down on herself. And she's very uplifting to all of her teammates as well. So I see her doing great things um, throughout this season. And yeah, she'll just continue work hard. For sure. And now on your coaching staff, you have Maddie West as an assistant. You're also working with Alyssa Gertner as well. So what have those relationships meant to you in your first season as a collegiate coach? Yeah, it's nice to relate to them too. you know, ask questions. We all just, we're also like just best friends, you know, so we really like each other and we enjoy each other. So we're sharing, you know, what we think and 
what our thoughts are on the game that we're playing and who we should be playing and all that kind of stuff. But it's just really nice to have them out there. They're very cheerful and just the girls love them. So it's really nice to have that as well. So now going into the athletics department, you had that time in the spring to try and get acclimated here as the head coach. And then now it's in season. So what have your relationships been like with the different coaches and the different staff um, administrators here in the Cornell College campus? What have those meant to you? Yeah, they're awesome. Um, I couldn't be where I'm at without them. I go to a lot of them and ask questions because I just don't know some things, which is okay. But no, it's been awesome here. I have a great support system and I couldn't ask for anything different. I, I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful for um, the support that I have here. Absolutely. One final question for you and that is going forward in this season, obviously it's the first year so you're trying to lay that foundation for the years to come. What are some realistic expectations for this team? Obviously it's easy to say wins and losses, but more importantly, the growth for these student athletes. What are you looking for these student athletes to do over the course of the year? Yeah, I just want them to reflect on the school year and obviously the season and just see their improvement, see their growth. Um, I think it's really powerful to have success on and off the field. And on the field doesn't mean that we're winning every single game. I think having success on the field means that you're becoming a better teammate. Individually, you've been become a better athlete and then off the field like I just want to have success in academics I want you to succeed um, in your schooling and work really hard so I think that's the biggest thing as well um, and then just grow I think you should come in to a program your freshman year and you want to leave it in a better place than what it was um, when you graduate so I think just working at this program working towards it making it better and just yeah having love and support for each other as well. That's a great philosophy and we wish you nothing but the best in this season and beyond as the Rams go to Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska for two matches this weekend. Make sure to follow along on CornellRams.com. Then the Rams return home to Mount Vernon for a couple of matches the following week. We'd love to see you there at the Cornell soccer field cheering on the Rams and Coach Sarah Campbell's first season at the helm. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so stay tuned to the Cornell Rams social media platforms as to when the next episode of the Hilltop Sports Report will drop. Once again, thank you to Sarah Campbell for her time on this episode of the podcast. My name is Jumpin' Jack Carlson, thanking you so much for watching or listening, saying I'll see you next time. Let's go Rams! Let's go Rams!